Hi everyone, this is my review for the Anchor Power Core Plus 26,800 milliamp battery charger and 18 watt quick charge 2.0 USB wall charger. I was supplied a sample for testing and review purposes and promised that my review would be fair and honest. Now I've yet to find a battery charge from Anchor that I have not fallen in love with. From their mini compact battery chargers to the full size battery charger, with this package here from their premium collection PowerCore Plus, Anchor really makes it a point to put their stamp in the market of the battery chargers and the technology used. Now, just the packaging alone, it's always a great experience for me to get the package and open it from Anchor. And it's always very customer friendly in my opinion. It's very simple, blue and white packaging. Opening the box, something as simple as Thanks for choosing Anchor always makes it a great thing for the customer to see that they really take pride in ensuring that we are indeed happy, which just so happens to be one of their taglines. Um, faster and safer charging with their leading technology, Power IQ, Multi-Protect, Voltage Boost, 10 million plus happy users and counting. And of course, I am one of those 10 million plus happy users and America's number one USB charging brand. Underneath this compartment here is where the battery charger itself is that I've already taken out and set aside. And inside this box here is where you get your accessories like the wall charger, the mesh bag, and the micro USB ch um, cable itself. So let's set the box aside and look at the actual star, the battery charger itself that possesses 26,800 milliamps. This is a beast of a battery charger. Now I have to say, it is very heavy. Um, I do have a scale that I used to weigh in comparison also to two other battery chargers that I have from Anchor. This came in at one pound, five ounces. Very, very heavy in my opinion. When you take a look at just the Anchor PowerCore 20,100 milliamp that came in at just 12.8 ounces and then the Astro E7 that has 25,600 milliamps. I have the um, first version of this. They've since upgraded it to the 26,800 milliamp. But even this version in itself is just one pound 1 1.6 ounces is what my scale weighted at. Um, so just know that this is going to be a little on the heavy side. Um, it does have the LED power wheel here, which lights up. Each light represents um, a percentage of the battery left. Right now I have nine lights on, nine out of the 10. So we're at 90%. It's a matte finish with the Anchor branding. The battery itself has three ports. All um, possess the IQ and voltage boost technology which ensures that your that each port has at least 2.4 amps um, going to your device, making it charge a lot faster than just using, say, your laptop or even sometimes your, your wall charger. With this port here, it's the Qualcomm technology. I have Apple products. Apple, unfortunately, is not one of the companies that uses the Qualcomm technology, but you can pretty much find them from... Um, a myriad of other companies that it allows you to charge your devices 75% faster and in some cases basically you can get up to eight hours of use just from 15 minutes of charging from this port alone. Of course you'd want to utilize the um, Qualcomm quick charge accessories like a wall charger or cables if you happen to have it with your device. So even with my Apple products, I'm, I still get a very fabulous, fast charge. Um, so the battery itself is here. Here is the Anchor 18 watt quick charge 2.0 USB wall charger. You have the Qualcomm quick charge 2.0 branding along with the Anchor branding here. Now when you plug this into the wall with the USB cable for your device. If it is a Qualcomm device, basically if it's set to take a Qualcomm charge, this light here will light up green. 
If you have an Apple product like myself or any other product that's not Qualcomm compatible, it will light up blue. So just know that you'll either get a blue light for a regular charge or regular device that's not Qualcomm compatible. If it is Qualcomm compatible, it will turn green. You get your mesh bag, which is always a nice thing to have to carry around. You get the micro USB cable to charge the battery. You get the anchor guarantee of whether you're happy or you're not happy. And inside you get ways to contact them. The welcome guide for the wall charger and the welcome guide for the battery charger itself. Now I've had this for a few days, so I've been able to run the battery down. It's taken me at least three days to do two full cycles here because there's just so much battery. And I've used two phones and I've used my iPad to get this done here. Um, and I've used the Qualcomm wall charger with the micro USB um, here in the input and I've been able to charge the battery in full. It's taken me about eight and a half hours. Anchor says um, nine hours, so that's pretty close um, to what they're, they're stating here. Um, and I've just used my regular lightning cables, of course, my Anchor cables to plug in my iPhone and iPad Air 2 in the ports here. Now I have been able to use the Qualcomm port, again being that my devices are not Qualcomm compatible, it will just um, charge regularly, which utilize the voltage boost and IQ technology. Each port has the ability to charge your devices up to 2.4 amps out of each port here. And again, this is where you put your micro USB in, inside to charge it up and you would want to use the included wall charger so that you can charge the battery itself up in less time. And less time, I mean eight and a half to nine hours. If you use another means, it can take you a lot longer. Um, I have been thoroughly pleased with this. The only setback that I would say is the wall charger itself. I wish that it um, had the ability to have the prongs closed like on the power port 2 here that I have. You know, I wish that it closed flush. Here the wall charger doesn't have a way of doing that. Um, another thing that's noticeable, again, aside from the, the size is, or I should say, say the weight, the size itself. And again, this is the power core 20,000 100 milliamp battery and hopefully you can see that the 26,800 milliamp power core plus it's a tad bigger or I should say thicker really and even really a, a little bit longer as well and when you have it against the Astro E7, you can see that it's still a little, little longer. So just take note of that if you're deciding which battery charger to choose. Again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this battery charger. For me, since I'm in the travel industry and I carry bags and everything else and it can kind of weigh me down for for days on end with things that I carry. I probably wouldn't carry this with me on actual trips. Um, I actually prefer using the 20,100 milliamp battery. Still not bad at all. Hello, it's 20,100 milliamps. This I would probably just, just use, you know, around town here at home. Um, but again, Anchor has really put their stamp in the battery charging market with this technology. Um, between the voltage boost and IQ that they always have. They've upped the ante with the Qualcomm technology. Again, for those devices that utilize that, you can charge your devices really quickly, um, up to, in some cases, 75% faster 
getting up to, in some cases, eight hours of use just from 15 minutes of, of using that particular port. Again, I encourage you to use the wall charger that's included because it is a Qualcomm charger, wall charger. So I would say eight and a half to nine hours to charge it and you'll be good to go.